Welcome back everyone to our channel. Today, we are diving into something massive. OpenAI, you know, the company that brought us ChatGPT, is trying to do something that's, well, it's monumentally difficult and super risky. They want to build their very own computer chips. And that's a huge question, right? A computer chip is basically the brain of any device, but for AI, it's literally everything. So why on earth would a software company want to get into the brutally difficult, crazy expensive business of making hardware? That's the core mystery we're going to unpack today. So here's how we're going to break it all down. First, we'll look at the AI chip arms race and why OpenAI feels like it's trapped in what I'm calling NVIDIA's golden handcuffs. Then we'll check out their escape plan, the massive billion dollar gamble that comes with it, and most importantly, why this matters to you. And we'll wrap up by looking at what this all means for the future of computing. To really get what OpenAI is doing, you first have to understand the current king of the AI world, a company called NVIDIA. They are so dominant, they've basically put the entire industry in a pair of very, very expensive golden handcuffs. I mean, the scale of their dominance is just staggering. Check this out. They make about 80% of all the high-end chips that are used for advanced AI. To put that into perspective, imagine if one company made 80% of all the cars in the world. It gives them this unbelievable control over the price, the supply, and really the whole direction of the industry. And that control? Well, it comes at a breathtaking price. A single one of NVIDIA's top-of-the-line AI chips can cost more than a brand new car. We're talking upwards of $40,000. And companies like OpenAI, they don't just need one or two, they need thousands, even tens of thousands of them, just to keep things like ChatGPT up and running. This quote right here, it just nails it. When you're the only game in town for something this critical, you get to set the price. Every single AI company, from the tiniest startup to the biggest tech giants, they all have to get in line and pay whatever NVIDIA asks. Why? Because their chips are just that good and that essential. And it's not just the cost. There's also this massive supply problem. You see, these incredibly complex chips are only made in a handful of super specialized factories, or fabs, that are mostly in Taiwan and South Korea. This creates a huge global bottleneck. It's kind of like if all the food for an entire continent had to pass through one single warehouse. Any little disruption can cause total chaos, and the whole AI industry is living with that risk every single day. So what do you do when you're facing crushing costs, a super fragile supply chain, and you're completely dependent on one company? Well, you come up with an escape plan, and OpenAI's strategy is to try and break free by designing their own custom chips, perfectly tailored to exactly what they need. It really boils down to three big things. First, cost. Every single time you use ChatGPT, it costs OpenAI money. It's like the running a free ice cream shop. Sure, one scoop is cheap, but millions of free scoops get really expensive really fast. Custom chips could slash those costs. Second is speed. NVIDIA's chips are like a Swiss army knife. They're great at a lot of things, but OpenAI wants a surgeon's scalpel, a tool designed for one specific job, which would make their AI models way faster and smarter. And the last one, and this is a big one, independence. Relying on one supplier is just way too risky. Building their own gives them control over their own destiny. Now, let's be super clear here. OpenAI isn't going to go out and build their own multi-billion dollar factories. No way. They're using a model called Fabless. Basically, they do the really hard brain work of designing the chip blueprints, and then they partner with a manufacturer, like TSMC in Taiwan, to actually build the things. It's the exact same playbook Apple uses for its iPhone chips and Google uses for its AI chips. You design it, someone else builds it. But even with that model, this is a monumental gamble. And I really can't overstate this. Making a modern computer chip is one of the most difficult, most precise manufacturing processes humanity has ever invented. The risk of failure is just enormous. To really get why, you gotta wrap your head around the scale we're talking about. The tiny little parts inside these chips are measured in nanometers. This analogy is just perfect. If you blew up a single marble to be the size of planet Earth, a nanometer would be the size of the original marble. We are talking about building functional, complex things on an almost atomic scale. It's completely mind-bending. Or think about it this way. Imagine you're tasked with building a huge, sprawling city, but every single building in that city has to be smaller than a virus. And you have to build billions of them on a surface smaller than your fingernail. Oh, and it has to be absolutely perfect. One tiny speck of dust could ruin the whole thing. So what you're left with are four huge risks for OpenAI. There's the technical risk. What if their design just doesn't work? 
Then there's the financial risk. You're talking billions of dollars up front with zero guarantee of success. The timing risk? It takes years to make a chip, and by the time it's ready, it might already be obsolete. And finally, the competition risk. What if NVIDIA just releases something even better in the meantime? It is a high-stakes race on every single level. Okay, so we've been talking about corporate strategy and nanometers, which is cool, but why should you, personally, care about any of this? Well, here's the bottom line. If OpenAI pulls this off, it will directly change and dramatically improve the AI tools you use every single day. Just take a look at this side by side. You know how today's AI can sometimes feel a bit slow or how it annoyingly forgets what you were just talking about? Custom chips could lead to seamless, real-time conversations with an AI that has a much, much better memory. And because these chips would be cheaper to run, it could make the most advanced AI services more affordable and accessible to everyone. And when we say more capable, that isn't just some buzzword. We're talking about an AI that could understand and talk about images, videos, and audio you show it. An AI that could help you plan an entire business project from the first idea to the final step. One that could solve really complex, multi-step problems and have deep, detailed conversations without ever losing the plot. That's the upgrade this whole chip arms race is really about. So, zooming all the way out, what we're really watching here is more than just a fight between companies. It's a fundamental shift in the history of computing. It feels like we're entering a whole new era of specialized machines. For decades, we've pretty much relied on general-purpose computers. You can think of them like a family doctor. They know a good amount about a lot of different things. But this new trend is all about specialists. You wouldn't ask your heart surgeon to check your eyesight, right? We're now building specialized chips, specialized brains for AI, for crypto, for self-driving cars, because a specialized tool is always going to be more powerful and more efficient than a general one. Now hold on, this isn't going to happen overnight, not even close. Even if everything goes perfectly, creating a custom chip takes years. We're probably looking at 2027, maybe 2028, before OpenAI's first chips are even ready for testing. So it's likely going to be closer to the end of the decade before we as users actually start to see these faster, cheaper, and smarter AI services everywhere. So that leaves us with the big final question. This race to create specialized brains for our machines? That's the new frontier. OpenAI is making a really bold, incredibly risky play, but trust me, they are not alone. The question isn't if this is going to happen, it's who will be the first to conquer it, and what will that mean for all of us when they do? Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe Nexolith AI.